Goddamn conversations with legends. Crazy how one day your idols can turn it to your brethren. Bitches, we severin'. Hit up my We gonna end this shit. Talking about your boy J. Cole. Oh shit. Your boy J. Cole. Anybody that's a friend of mine, they understand that I'm not the biggest J. Cole fan. Um, I've actually made it made it very well known upon my peers that I am not <laughs> a fan of this dude much at all. Uh, now, I have tried to like J. Cole. I really have. I've given him so many chances. So many. But dude's albums just never really seem to reach out to me. Now, recently, his album, For Your Eyes Only which came out last year, I particularly hated. I thought that album sucked. I thought it was his worst effort to date. Uh, it was one of my least favorite projects of last year. Not because I thought it was just that awful. Of course, worst records came out, but just in pure lack of enjoyment of a project. That album almost bored me to death, bored me to tears. And what makes it almost as bad is his... So blind fan base. His fan base is just so naive. And they're just, they, they're just so ready to praise everything this guy does. They call him the next Pac, the uh, second coming of Pac. They call him the second coming of Big. They call him one of the greatest in the game today. And uh, legend. And they say his music is oh so good. You know, and when I listen to For Your Eyes Only, I, I'm like, can I please get just an, a gram of what y'all smoking? Because this, oh my God, can I please, can I pretty please just get a little bit of what y'all smoking? So, bottom line, I'm not a J. Cole fan. But um, one of my best friends, I have like three best friends, and one of my best friends, uh, Sydney, she was like, yo, she like since the beginning, she was she's been like, yo, like she's been the J. Cole stand, man. And she just loves this guy. And she just don't get why I just don't like this man. She just don't get it. So for her, for her ears only, <laughs> uh, that was lame. But, you know, for her, I will go ahead and. And listen to his discography all over again. And that's what I've been doing over these past couple of weeks. Um, not counting his mixtapes. I'm not going to listen to all his mixtapes right now. Just his albums. Just his albums. And I gave his debut, Cold World, a full listen. And I have got to... I'm probably about to have the biggest feast of one's own words ever because oh my god I fucking love this album I don't know what I was smoking back when this shit came out and I listened to it and I didn't like it I don't know what I was smoking but man it seems like I've been the one on drugs <laughs> this album is great I love this shit from the let's let's talk about the production the beats on this motherfucker Oh my Jesus. If you have any kind of speaker in your trunk, please play Cold World in that bitch. This, these beats knock so hard. Oh my God. The kicks, the fucking bass, this, the hi-hats. Dude, I'm just going to give y'all a couple of my favorite beats. Can't Get Enough has an incredible beat. Oh my God, it just makes me want to dance every time I fucking hear it. Cold World goes hard as fuck in the morning. is really smooth. Uh, uh, God's Gift has this incredible sample in it that just... Oh my God, makes you want to cry when you hear it in the background. Rise and Shine, um, to the Lil Wayne fans, uh, if you've heard Glory by Lil Wayne, it's the same sample being used here. Um, that sample that goes, you know, that, that, uh, sample, man, and it gets even better when you talk about the lyrics, Cole is spitting on this bitch, and he's spitting real shit, too, you know, there are those songs that, you know, don't really have a focus, and they just kind of, you know, kind of go all over the place, like, 
Dollar in a Dream and Mr. Nice Watch and Cold World, you know. But there are a lot of songs, especially when you get deeper into the track list, that actually have some really dope-ass topics on them. Lost Ones is probably his most ambitious record to date, uh, where he raps from the perspective of a pregnant girl talking to her boyfriend about how she's not going to get an abortion. And man, talk about creates. I have never heard a track like that ever, period. And he accomplished it so well. He accomplished it so well. Uh, Never Told. A story about uh, a father cheating on on uh, on his mother. And telling his son, hey, you know, you, you're not supposed to say everything right. You're not supposed to tell everything you see. You know, you're supposed to be a man. You want to be a man. Men don't say everything they see. And I've never heard that before. I've never heard a song like that before. You know, and... And the heartbreaking breakdown song where he just, he criticizes his father, but he just can't shake how he just wants him to be around. Like he just wants a dad, you know, no matter what he says that's insulting or criticizing, he just wants a father. And it's heartbreaking. It really is heartbreaking to listen to. And man, it's moments like that that really make this album shine. Now, does this album have a couple of weak spots? It does. Uh, Lights Please is a moment that I skip every time I turn on this album. I mean, I know a lot of people like this song, and I just I just don't ride with me, man. I just don't fuck with that song. Uh, Mr. Nice Watch is particularly useless. This song is pointless. On this record. It's absolutely pointless. It has nothing to do with anything. It doesn't even sound like it fits on this album. Excuse me. It sounds like a fucking uh, leftover from the collaboration project between Jay and Kanye. uh, Watch the Throne. You know. And it just. That song particularly is just not very good. And there are moments on here where J. Cole just kind of says cheesy things. You know, it's, it's one of my biggest problems with J. Cole, period, is just that sometimes he just got these bars that just make me go, Ugh. But the good thing is, on this album, they don't really stick in my head much. They just kind of come on, I hear them, and I go, oh, that was bad. And then I move on with my life, you know. It, it don't stick around like... Uh, like when he said, I came fast like 911 in white neighborhood. Really? Like, it's not making me mad. Like, you know, with some almond milk. I never saw it. I saw the day I'd be drinking almond milk. Oh, my God. Like, it's not It's not to that level. I don't mean no disrespect whenever I say faggot. Okay, faggot? Like, <laughs> man, it's not nearly as bad as those moments. They don't stick in the brain. But there were some eye rollers on here. There were some moments where I was like, okay. Dude really just said that shit, but you know what? I ain't gonna front on it. You know what? For the most part, I love this record. I think it's very catchy. I fuck with the hooks. I fuck with the beats, particularly. The beats are fucking fire. Uh, They hit hard in the car. Uh, A lot of good topics. Cole has a pretty good flow most of the time. He sounds great over over these beats. He sounds hungry. You know, a lot of these songs are very catchy. A lot of these songs are very introspective. Just a dope ass debut album, I gotta say. I'll fuck with this album heavy and I, I gotta give it a very light B plus. I think it's I think it's great. And that's it, nigga. Like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell to let you know when I upload and check out my Facebook page linked in the description below. With all that being said, have a good day, you glorious bastards.